Hey guys, I'm Saeed from Linux Plus and today I'll be showing you how to install Linux Mint 19.1 Odessa or any other Linux on your PC. Installing Linux Mint is really easy. However, for making any mistake or taking any wrong step can give you trouble. That's why I'll be explaining it step by step so anyone knowing nothing about Linux can install it on their PC easily and perfectly. All you need to do, just follow the steps carefully and perfectly. So without any further ado, let's get started. Firstly, you need to download Linux Mint. I'm going to download Linux Mint 19.1 or this. Uh, you can download any other version you want. I'm going to download 64 bit as my processor is 64 bit processor. You guys can select any server to download. So let's download it. It's uh, 1.8 GB. So after that, you need to download an uh, application called Power ISO. You need this application to make bootable USB. You can use other application like Rufus or other. There are some people who don't like this application because uh, sometimes they receive alert from their uh, antivirus. But uh, it's totally okay. I'm been, I've been using it for a long time and my experience with this application is really good. I tried other application to make bootable USB and those are not good. That's why I recommend you to use Power ISO. But you guys are free to use any other other application if you are want to. So after downloading these two files you have to install Power ISO. I have already installed this Power ISO so I don't need to install that. So after installing you need to insert your USB drive. Make sure that USB drive is at least 4 GB and after inserting you need to open the Power ISO as an administrator. So I have to wait a moment because it's I'm using it unregistered version. So continue unregistered. Now you need to format your USB drive. So let's format this. Okay, uh, hit format and start. Okay, so after that, uh, just close that and you can see my USB drive is ready. And go to your power ISO and then tools, then create bubble USB drive. And now you need to download, select the Linux Mint 19.1 that I just downloaded and then open it. And after that select your USB and then hit start. So it will take 3 to 10 minutes maybe it can take more depends on your USB speed. So after that you can check it. Let's check it. You can see it's only 2.5 MB. My drive was 8 GB. So I'll be showing you how to fix that at the end of this video. So don't forget to check the end of this video. So let's restart your PC. So restart after restarting your PC, you need to open the bootloader to load Google USB. Uh, it's different to PC to PC. In my case, as I'm using Gigabyte motherboard, it's F12 button to open this bootloader settings. It can be different for you. It can be F2 or delete button or maybe escape button, whatever. Just find out your way to boot the USB drive okay so after that uh, you need to select the right USB drive from there and then you will load to the Linux Mint system so you can see I am inside of this system you may have option for uh, selecting install Linux Mint and try Linux Mint if you have those option just select install Linux Mint and if you have option like me you need to double click install Linux Mint let's install it So from here you need to select uh, your language, uh, I will prefer English and hit continue and uh, select your keyboard layout and then hit continue and uh, don't forget to select uh, install third party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware and for that you need to connect to the internet, make sure you connect to the internet but uh, if you don't have any option to connect the internet uh, you can leave it, you can uh, install this uh, hardware software and uh, driver later. So then continue and this is the most important part and don't select the Linux Mint alongside Windows or Erase Disk. Just select something else. Manual will give you more options. Select something else and hit continue. So this is the most important part. In this part you guys will see lot of drive here. In your case as I'm using virtual machine I just created two drive to show you how it's look like. So here the most important part don't delete any drive that you need. Don't delete the drive where your personal application, personal photos or uh, any other information are stored. Just delete the drive where you want to install Linux Mint okay. Don't delete any other drive. Like if you have uh, previously installed uh, operating system any drive you can delete that 
that drive okay if you want to install your uh, linux mint on that drive just delete that drive and make free space so you need to make free space to install linux mint there so now here i will delete uh, as da2 drive to delete that just select the drive and hit the minus button so now you can see the free space and there is sda1 i i'm going to also delete that so using this free space i want to create a new drive so select the drive and hit plus button and then you see here we go so you can see it's a 30 gb uh 30 gb uh i'll recommend you to make at least 30 gb or more to install uh, linux mint you can uh, install it in uh, 20 gb and even 15 gb but you'll need at least 30 gb try to make uh, more than 30 gb after that select primary then uh, beginning of this space and then uh, use as journalizing file system and in the mount point option you need to select root as well, we are going to install our linux mint there so we need to select root in the mount point option. so that's it uh, if everything okay then uh, hit okay So our uh, Linux Mint is going to install there in this root drive and as I don't need this drive I'm going to delete that drive to create home. Home is not an important part but uh, it's good to have home drive so you can manage your data more easily. So that's why I'm going to install home. So I'm telling you again the home is not that much important. To create home I need to delete that drive so let's delete it and uh, here you can see the free space so it's uh, 30 GB and I'm going to make 30 GB for home it's uh, the same process 30 GB logical or primary uh, I'm select from the beginning of the space and use as uh, journalizing file system then mount point I have to select home okay that's it uh, one more thing you should remember that uh, if you have less than 4 GB RAM then you have to create a swap area and uh, I'm not showing you how to create a swap area because uh, most people almost 99% people have at least 4 GB RAM in their PC so if you have more than 4 GB RAM then you don't know it's so up area that's why I'm not showing how to create if your PC RAM is less than 4 GB then you have to create so up area so here you can see that uh, we have our root and we have our home so now the step is uh, you need to select a device for bootleg installation and from here you have to select the full hard drive location it's your full hard drive like if your hard drive is uh, 1 terabyte then it should be 1 terabyte if you are using 2 hard drive like a 1 hard sdd or one ssd then you have to select your ssd here full ssd not any drive so after selecting that you can install we can install now just uh, hit the install button and you can see we are repeating two drives so let's hit continue and after that uh, you have to select your location that hit continue then uh, create your account fill up your information choose password and then create account and after that uh, it will take uh, 5 to 15 minutes or maybe 20 or 30 minutes depends sorry the internet connection your drive speed so you have to wait so after that uh, you will see an option for uh, restart your system so if you see this you just need to unplug your usb drive and then hit restart button and after that you can see our installation is done So now let's see how to clean your USB drive and get your USB drive pin drive back. So for that you need to open power ISO as an administrator and then continue unregistered as I'm using a free version and then tools then clean USB drive and select your USB and then clean it and hit OK. So after a moment you will see that this message so hit OK. Now we have to format this drive again. So let's format it. So that's it. Uh, hit OK. So here we go. Uh, we got our uh, 8GB USB drive back. So 
So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any problem or any question, you can leave that in the comment below. I'll always try to be there to help you. If you dislike this video, you can hit the dislike button. But if you like it or it helped you, then hit like, get subscribed, and hit the bell icon to stay notified. And this side signing out. See you in the next one.